Hi, Dr. Matt here. One frequently asked question that comes up in the office is how do I actually become shifted or how do I um, demonstrate some level of structural distortion in my body? And you'll hear us use the word subluxation in the office as a family chiropractor would. Well, the first one I want to focus in on is the, the physical cause of subluxation. So why in the world would you actually shift and why would you need a checkup to know whether you're not you're subluxated? with pressure potentially on those nerves. So I'm sure you'll remember the structure that, or the, the system that controls your body is actually, what? It's in your head up here, right? it's your brain. So your brain sends information through your spinal cord all the way down and travels out your nerves to your muscles, but also your organs and your glands. So the, the first one I'm gonna discuss with you is the physical cause for your body to shift, your spine to shift, potentially putting pressure on those nerves and causing you to get stuck. So sometimes you're gonna feel it, but more often than not, you're not gonna feel, and that's exactly why you get checked at a family chiropractor's office to know whether you're shifted. So the first one is easy. If I, if I take a fall and hit my bum, and this is your buttocks down here, this is the lumbar spine, the base of your spine. If I take a fall, yeah, sure, I may be shifted. That's, that's an easy one. Or if I take a stumble and trip over a curb and fall onto my bum, then yeah, things may distort and I may cause myself to shift. Some of the areas you may feel, as I was saying earlier, you may feel down your lumbar spine and your buttocks, but more importantly, it's the areas you don't feel that we wanna check and make sure they're working correctly simply because your brain, your nervous system controls all the functions in your body. The other one, in terms of physical, is gonna be small physical trauma. So what's an easy thing that we do every single day? I'm sure if you look from the side of your spine, you should see three curves, right? You should see your cervical, your thoracic, and your lumbar curve down here. Now, what do most of us do all day? We spend most of our day, what, sitting, right? We spend most of our day sitting crane forward at a computer screen typically, or stuck in one posture. And, and your body's really smart, so whatever it practices over and over again, what do you think happens? Yeah, it becomes more like that. So if you practice one chronic posture over and over again, essentially you're gonna become more stuck like that. And that's why when you look on the inside and measure the level of structural distortion in your spine and your nervous system, it can be a lot more, a lot more evident than what you're actually feeling, right? So some of the things may show up as lower back discomfort, but that's often the last phase of the problem is the pain versus things show up long before the actual pain or alarm bells go off in your body. So it's important to note that as you start to get stuck or sit in front of a computer screen, you actually send less information between your brain and your body. So what do you think that means to your, your health overall if your brain and your nervous system controls your whole body and that power goes down? Right? Essentially means less function potentially and less health. So I want you to think about that today as one of the causes of, of rather your, your subluxation or your shifted spine. and then. Uh, if it resonates with you, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to answer any more of your questions. Bye for now.